All right, uh, we're getting started. I'm going to have a a local hero. I can say local, not plum local, but local. Oscar Dominguez, the newest resident of Las Vegas. That's right. Yep. And you're loving it. I do love it. How's the weather today? Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't oh it? man. Yeah. I just I can't stand LA anymore after uh, yeah. my whole life. I just. Uh, what hour are you? We guess 31. I am 32. Going on well, 33. I am so sorry, yeah. Junior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just getting started. Yeah, yeah, Hopefully. I hear you. Well, you've done well. Thank you, thank you. So we've got Shane Van Boning versus D. Adkins, and mm -hmm. they are they in the bank pool. D. made some. He, he is a bank pool. Right. He's, he's like out of stroke. He's just coming back into the game, and he had some real terrible injuries. Fell off a roof and shattered both his ankles and crazy stuff, you know? Yeah. Nicest guy in the world, but he is a very capable player. But he made some of the coolest little two and three rail, you know, shots and everything. But uh, this could, this should be a pretty good game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dee's uh, from the Ohio area, yeah. so they oh, play yeah. a lot of one pocket and banks out Oh, there. yeah, Corey Duell, Troy, Troy, uh, Troy Frank. Troy, Troy Frank, and a couple it's other monsters. Sean Putnam was yeah. originally from yeah. there. And there's a lot of good players. Yeah, so. yeah, that was a little hot spot. Ed Hancock plays good out there, yeah. Mansfield, Ohio. See, you, I, I don't know that name, but uh, I don't need to. No, no, no. <laughs> good guy, good action man. Anyways, uh, the Atkins is in a bad spot. Five balls to zero. You know, it's hard to play against Shane because mm -hmm. he he might not know the game well, but he hits the ball exactly where he wants very yep. well. So he's he's so creative offensively. So yep. you got to really put him in dead traps to to beat him. You got to be a very well skilled player. Yeah. Well, he has, he has uh, and, and he's getting to the point, I don't know, let's say six, seven years ago, you, you had that Efren factor. People would have him beat and just not get there because right. they just, you know, and yeah. Shane's causing the same problem. Oh, absolutely. People yeah. ask me, like, uh, why does Shane keep winning the run runner? Uh, <laughs> I mean, he really. Five times? Five, I mean, he really, like, obviously he's the best bar table player in, in the world, but he's. He didn't win like two of them. He's the <laughs> opponents lost to him. Yeah, and, uh, but you know that's he puts in the work and he deserves those. Uh, he is the hardest working uh, pool player out there. Oh, by far. And that's why I like this Manny Perez. He's he's, he's uh, you know four or five six hours a day. Oh, minimum. Yeah. You know, he's got nineteen got years old and he's a he's a threat. Yeah. I remember those days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then you get married and have a kid. and Really? <laughs> things change. You start learning what bills are, and your stroke gets a little tighter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I tell them, enjoy it, man. Just play pool, do what you want to do. Yeah, That's what I used to tell people. You know, it says when you have all that free brain space and no car payment, no rent, no nothing, mm -hmm. you can think real clearly. Absolutely. All you see is the balls. Absolutely. And you Get some get some responsibilities and things get fuzzy. Yeah. You know, you just got too much going on. You know? Yeah, but it's part of life. Yeah, it is. It is. Meanwhile, Dee's in a bad spot here. Not really anything aggressive. He can go. Can't see enough of the six to bank it. He can bank the five, but he can't reach it very well. But there's no benefit to it because it's. Well, such why isn't he? I don't know if you can see enough, but I just hit that ball full, take it out, and follow up, follow the cue ball up into the corner. That's what he's going to do with the yeah, one, with though. The one. Yeah, I, I, it's hard to see the angle. Yeah, just like that. Very similar shot. But it's, 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 it's not, it's defensive. You like to be defensive, offensive, but sometimes you get you take what you get. And that's, yeah. you know, that's in any game. Take what the table gives you. Yeah. If you get too creative, it's going to bite you. Right. One of the big positives that he did is tie up that 1-5. So he, yeah. um, but Shane's, Shane's going to be a little patient here and, uh, yeah. Move the ball towards his side and uh, maintain control the best he can. One of the biggest mistakes I make is I I leave my opponent way too many banks at their hole, and I see Shane thinks things through and actually makes sure he blocks the banks. Uh, yeah. He's always especially if you keep some traffic in, so that you take away the long rail banks. You you cripple a guy. Absolutely. You, you know, and really all of a sudden everything's left footed. Mm -hmm. You know. 
and you keep them from running balls. So you make a mistake, it takes two, makes two balls and not six. Big right. difference. Big difference. Double kissed. Yeah. And you got to love it. You moved to Vegas. We moved five U.S. Opens, plus Jason Watson. Matchroom moves the U.S. Oh, Open I'm nine running. ball here. You're loving it. Uh, how am I running? You know? I even you, told How Desi much that. travel fee did you just eliminate? Oh, God. And you get to sleep at home. I get to sleep at home. I Jeez, hang out with my know? dog, my baby. <laughs> Big difference. Oh, oh huge. And the thing is, I, I spent so much time in Vegas anyways. I needed to change it. I just couldn't fade the $2,300 a month rent that I was paying. In. I couldn't believe it when you said that. I, and, and you know, the, everybody knows gas is about 40 cents a gallon more. Oh, minimum. Um, well, out. Vegas gas is super high because they, f from some goofy law, we Vegas can't get gas from California. It has to come through Arizona, which comes through Texas. So we're at the end of the run, so to speak. Uh, all, so you got all the costs of getting it. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I didn't know, you know that. And they got so many regulations, you can't even tie your shoes without a regulation. I can imagine. And you're going to have gaming here soon, right? God well, that's what they tell me. I mean, there's, there's 12 machines sitting in the, in the bar out there. They're just, we're waiting for the one little piece of paper. And uh, I, I have no idea what's going on. But the, even the gaming people don't know what's going on. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah, we'll finally get there. Yeah, God willing. You know, through pure stubbornness, this is going to turn out to be a pretty decent room. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. you got a great place. I mean, here. it's a nice room, but we, you know, we've it, got it, a chance it, to actually make it work and work itself and, uh, you know. Into something you know. special. Yeah. Because those uh, machines really help. Unless you're losing all the time, then it really doesn't. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It bounces itself out yeah. at the end. Uh, D's got a... Uh, what does D have? <laughs> I don't see anything. The six ball doesn't cross. The He's looking at kicking at the ball, but you're going to guarantee a sellout bank if you don't leave it near the hole. You don't have a whole lot of anything here. No. I, rather I mean, I see a couple things that he could try, but they're... they're yeah, I, don't like I didn't like that. I didn't so like it, that. It's you open up the only balls that he right. had blocked, but that was yeah. protecting you. Yeah. Now he can, if he can bank the five, not even really play to make it and leave the cue ball in the short row. No. It's too thin. Well, maybe it was a good shot, and we don't know. Maybe he's teaching us something here, yeah. Mark. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm. it's not hard to teach me. <laughs> it's just hard to make me listen. <laughs> Uh, well, Shane's in a comfortable spot. Five balls a zero, and uh, he's got most of the balls in play on his side. Whoa. Oh, flirting with that pocket. I've seen more uh, cue ball, just cue ball scratches between banks and one pocket than I think I've ever seen at this level. I mean, they're, they, they keep. Falling in the, in the pocket, especially those corners. Mm -hmm. And uh, 20 of them just buried, almost falling. You know, just like, it was, it was just amazing that it's. Uh, you know what it is? I think, uh, I believe it or not, I'm a fan of the Cyclops balls, the new ones. Yeah. I really am a fan. I'm not saying that just because yeah. uh, CSI uses them. I, I'll tell you the truth if I hate them. I used to hate the old ones. The new versions, these solid red dot actually play very well. But they do play lighter than the measle ball. So whenever you're trying to draw it, people overdrawing very mm. easily. Um, and you notice a lot of times in banks or one pocket, you're trying to draw your cue ball towards the corner, not to scratch, but it's yeah. so much, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a lot touchier. So people are struggling. I think, um, I didn't really get to watch mm. the banks. Yeah. I was in yeah. LA. I've never been a fan of the uh, measle ball. Never? Uh, to me, it, it, I, I just used to say it, it plays flat. Yeah. You have to, wor and when it starts drawing, it wants to draw forever. It's almost like the, the magnetic ball from the belly bar right. boxes. It's just like it just, it just, it plays heavy. Yeah, it it's does play not. No. It just, it's just, it's, it's just, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. It does play heavy. Um, I used to hate it, but now. It became the standard. It you became gotta, the yeah. standard. Then uh, now Cyclops seems to be taking over in Asia. Um, 
and uh, your events, yeah. which is good. And I see him doing a lot of good things for pole. And so why not? Yeah. We got to get used to uh, different equipment. It's always always an adjustment. Yeah, there's always things change. As long as the quality's good. Yeah. Well, I hope the diamond tables are being used over for the U.S. Open. I'm sure they're not because Matchroom has a deal with Rassum. Just, I mean, remember that's their sponsor, so you you, you know, that'll be interesting. That would be interesting. But you, I I, mean, I don't know. I'm just assuming. One of the things that shocked me on the rest is how slow it is. I mean, it is deathly slow. Hmm. I mean, you can. I know that uh, the one we had one at the office. It was Florian's table, and we were just storing it for him for a while. And when it was sitting there, you could actually thigh it. It would. It just wasn't. It's not as solid as. No. Because you know, no. when you have a base that's in the middle, and it, it just engineering-wise, you know, it's not going to be. Of course. Yeah. It's, it's common physics. Yeah. I mean, you see. And the biggest issue I have with the the Rassen is that it's got a two inch thick slate, so I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. So when you jump the ball, it actually just it jumps. It jumps like crazy. That's why diamonds jump so much better, like especially in the bar tables, because they're like they're I think they're right at right at an inch from the bar tables yeah. or seven eighths. I don't know, but valleys are like three quarters. Mm -hmm. You know. Absolutely. So you get that, that you get more mass, mm -hmm. and they the ball does want to go airborne. Absolutely. I guess I guess billiard tables have jumped pretty good. <laughs> uh, you know what they probably do, <laughs> especially the Gabros. Yeah. Wow, this is going to be a uh, D's. Uh, he's sinking because uh, all the traffic's up past the other half of the mm. table, and he's down five zero. He's got to make a move and make it soon. Or grind them out one at a time, but it's hard to do that with Shane. Yeah. He shoots two straight. I remember when Billy and Billy and Cardone and Shane were playing. It was either one ball, one pocket, or Shane had to make make it twice. And Billy, I don't know, for big money at Derby City at the, when it was at uh, the one at in the Mississippi. Yeah. Oh, no. and uh, yeah, that, Tunica. Yeah, and, uh, and even Billy said, he says, I know exactly what he's doing. The problem is he can do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. And yeah, he's just leaving shots like this is like a death sentence. Yeah. Um, he's so talented at pocketing balls. Yeah. Never noticed Shane. He never really has a bad match. He might make a couple of mistakes here and there, but he never has like. I don't know. A real bad match. He played pretty poorly against Kiamko in the finals at the Rum Runner. I, I mean, I saw, I, he missed two balls. He's got no business missing. Yes, and yes. it's, you know, in the second set. Then it, it was uh, probably tired. Yeah. He's probably smoke. tired of winning the damn yeah, thing. Seriously. <laughs> the cigarette smoke in there is tough, too. Oh, Lord. I won't even, I, 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 you know, I go in there. I went down there for about 45 minutes or an hour, and it just was, you know. Okay, game one to Shane. We're going to start having some pretty good uh, bar table events and everything. Because, you know, I, I, I really appreciate the fact that we, we are non-smoking. Yes. And I, I oh, hear yeah. it all the time. Oh, huge. Yeah. And the poker players come in here. And they, yeah. they know, let's in here. And I mean, it's just, yeah. if you want to smoke, uh, by all means. Go outside. Go outside. Not a problem. And I have nothing against smokers. I have family members who are smokers. But, um. Uh -oh. Ooh, that eight ball leaked out. He yep. hit that ball way too thin on the. Yeah, the he, hit he hit the second ball too full. Yeah, too full. Exactly. Yeah. Hit the one way. And too the cue ball just drives right through it. Right. He got actually a little fortunate. He kissed the eight to scratch. Um, that way he didn't sell out the eight ball. Right. Yeah, because it was leaking out, and he knocked it back in. Mm -hmm. So Shane's probably going to try and uh, cut the one into. What can you do? Banking the one's tough. Cutting the nine and placing the cue ball behind the three is a good idea. Basically shoot the nine into the 13 and move some furniture towards your area. Or you can be super aggressive and bank the nine into the three and try to f stun follow the cue yeah. ball. If he moves the three ball, he's got a potential to come near his hole because a four ball plays big there. 
Let's see what Shane does. What would Shane do? <laughs> One thing's for sure, he's gonna control that cue ball either on that cushion or towards the three ball, leaving it a little more. From this angle, it looks like he's banking the one into the 13. Um, well, if he, if he can hit the 13 half solid, it, you know, you never know, he could come off the rail, come off the two, or up the four, or whatever that is, yeah, and, then, and then kick kiss off of that towards the corner. Hard to say. You want to make sure you don't hit this ball too hard. No. Uh, more of a... Well, funny things happen when you shoot hard. <laughs> you know, balls go everywhere. Well, he's striking the one. I think he's right. You're right. He's going to run into the 13, I guess. Nope. Into the 10. Well, the good thing is he controlled the cue ball. Mm, left that's the main thing. Yeah, yeah, the main thing. And the four ball got into a nice position there for him to where mm -hmm. he can't really leave the ball up table without leaving something. Right, right, right. The only, I mean, uh, he moved four balls. They all kind of went towards his pocket. That's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. Nope. You take that every day of the week. Now the only danger here is the 810 is pointing towards this hole. So that might play a role here. Oh, that's a good effort there. Yeah, it was. Great cue ball control, good effort. Shane, uh, it looks like he can see the top side of the 14. So if he does that, he's gonna be able to bank the 14 in a favorable position, but if he hits the 13, it's kind of going to leave an opening for D to do a return bank. So yeah. I've been telling people, you know, this and banks, the defense is so important because you can see, and you, sometimes you can't even see all the all the defensive shots, so you can't protect against them. Right. It's so easy for a shot to leak out somewhere. Yeah. And there's just too many things going on, That's particularly in bank pool because you're dealing with more than one pocket. But right. I think bank pool is just the coolest game there is. It bank teaches you so much. a very unique game. I, I'm a big fan of banks. I, w I was really disappointed I couldn't make it. <laughs> it wasn't even about yeah. the money. I don't no, really I don't care really. about the money. Well, you, you got priorities. You got to take care of kids, you know? Yeah. You just have to wait a year. No problem. Yeah, once she starts uh, telling us that she's hungry and talking <laughs> running around then it's a lot easier but right now it's it's my first first time parent so it's kind of you didn't read the book oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> and you just try the best you can with it you have and yep. keep them alive and yeah keep them happy oh you have a daughter right no no I have no kids no kids oh funny i got i got i got grandkids without having kids Oh, okay. You know. <laughs> and they're not kids wow. anymore. They're like 23 and something. Yeah. What a beautiful shot. I wish I could just rewind that and just see that again. Um, um, Stephen can do it at a later date for you. you, you, you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like on YouTube, I'm yeah. definitely going to watch this yeah. on YouTube just because um, that was a beautiful shot. And it, the yeah. parts, there's so many moving parts yeah. there. I wanted yeah. to kind of focus on what side of the ball he hit. Very creative shot. And that is going to cost him. Feels like not that long ago, Shane was uh, one of the weaker one pocket players and one of the weaker bank pool players. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, <laughs> he starts practicing and practicing and getting better and better and starts gambling with Dennis and Tony and he starts picking up a lot of moves yeah. and now he's... Uh, he's understanding the game because he can execute. Yeah. That tournament that was in Houston, uh, 
big time? Yeah, what was it called? I think he went down. Galveston. Galveston, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Shane was gambling with uh, Incardone. And yeah, he didn't, nobody, he didn't even know how to play one pocket, I yeah. don't think, you know? And, uh, oh, geez, I can't remember the other thing. Artie, Artie was oh, down yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. And he cool. lives here, but yeah, you never Artie. see him. But, uh, yeah, he beat up on in Cardone, but I think I think Billy was spotting him, and just just tearing his hair out. You know, he just he keeps leaving these bait shots are a mile away, and he just fires him in like a nine ball. Yeah, you know, it's just like oh shit. <laughs> yeah, the kid's talented, isn't he? I respect Shane a lot. I think everybody does. I, we we need uh, another hundred players like him and you, and this game would be miles ahead of where it is. I think so too. It's a shame. It's not where even. Yeah. Let's see what he does here. Come on the short side of it. Yeah, on the short side of it. Now he can play for the three, three. ball. Yeah. Well, there's three, six, let me see. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten balls left on the table. So um, Shane must be playing for four or three, excuse me. So he's got the 10. Yeah, and D owes one because there's still a penny up there. Oh, D owes one. Okay, that explains. Yeah. Yep, all the he's way around. He's got one. Oh, look at that. Nice shot. Now what Shane will probably do is roll up or stop the ball and play the one ball bank. Yeah. Unless there's something decent in the stack where he can stop it. Play the one, one ball, ball bank. bank. Are you shooting with an extended cue? No, no. no. I, I put on an extension when necessary. When needed, yeah. Yeah. Hit a little bit weak. Like it's like it's slowing down. Maybe it's just some humidity's building up or something. It's just everybody's shooting a little under speed right now. We'll be having the U.S. Open 8-ball and 10-ball here in uh, July. Okay, cool. And I'll be recovering before that. They don't need it, but uh, you know they don't want to. Oh, what oh, a shot! Oh, oh, jeez! What a, almost a bad roll there. Yeah, that was a nice shot. I actually yeah. saw it before when he let. I was thinking maybe he might go off this ball. He, he shot the the ball that was nearest uh, the right side of the table into the bo most bottom most ball and caromed into the pocket. Um, well, that's the case of knowing the score. Y yes. If you're, if you're stuck and you got half a shot, swing. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you have no choice. Oh, yeah. And the, the thing that's pretty interesting here that um, is that the five banks, and so does the seven ball. They both yeah. bank, and obviously so does the one ball. So if you can somehow get decent on, this, on the five, no, I don't think he'll go for the full bank out. But The key is here you want to make the six and pick off the 15 if possible. No, and remember, he owes one too. So that oh yeah, that plays big. Role. That plays big right now. I don't think he's going to follow into it. He's playing the yeah. cross, the cross he's corner. He's going for the ball. out, or, or you know what I mean, going for ball count. He's going to swing at it. Mm -hmm. What I find amazing is when Shane and these guys are playing these things, at least in bank pool, they don't, they just fire him in. You know, mm -hmm. you think you just pinch it and draw it back this far? They. Fire. Draw back eight feet. It's you know. not a bad idea here to shoot the one. Bank the one, send the cue ball up table. The yeah. five doesn't pass the seven. No. I don't even think he's seen it. Well, if the five's bankable, that's what I'd shoot. Yeah, if the five's bankable, it looks bankable. Yeah, he's shooting it, so he's I hope shooting. it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good shot there. Yeah. Wow. Can you imagine if he s <laughs> steals this game? He stole a couple playing bank pool. I mean, I was amazed. This guy dug out holes or shots from, like, nowhere. I like his game. I mean, he can, he can cross the seven and run into the one, but you don't yeah. win that way right away. You you win by banking the one in and playing position up table and going for the gusto. Again, if I'm playing, uh, if 
pump point machine. I go for the win just because I know I'm going to get beat. <laughs> well, if you don't, yeah, you know, it's just, yeah, he's he's on another level. He just is. And, you know, you guys got to contend with him for another 20 years. 15. You know what? He, sh he hates losing so much. He's probably never, ever going to. The day he, he starts playing Earl. bad. <laughs> the day he plays bad is the day he quits, I think. Yeah. He can't win. He's just, and I don't think he's. And he takes good, such good care of himself. He's going to last for a long, a long time. time. Yeah. Because he's only what, 33, 34. Oh, oops. He hit that uh, whatever ball with his cue stick. Oh, well, either or. It doesn't it matter. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Shane's got seven. He's got a spot of ball. Well, he's got a spot all the balls. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't matter. Wow, either. that was a hell of an effort. Definitely he gets an A for effort there. Yeah. yeah, two games to none. Race to four. And we start tomorrow at noon. So it'll be noon, 2.35, 7.30. Finals are scheduled for 5 o'clock on Sunday. Yeah, I'll see you at 5 o'clock. <laughs> you think I'll be here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not planning on paying anybody. I, I figured how to make a tournament and make money. You just don't pay anybody. Absolutely. It's, it, you know, it's it got to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> just fire the air barrel. Everyone yeah. else does. Yeah. I'll, I'll give it all up. I'll get, trade you out for free pool time. <laughs> <laughs> that way I can keep all the players here. <laughs> <laughs> they got to eat eventually, right? <laughs> all right. Well, Dee's got a... He's probably going to leave the balls short row, short row. Try to leave them uh, straight in. I don't see him doing really. Th take, th come off the top side of that 14. Uh oh, mm. that's going to leave a mark. See, I don't. Yeah, that's getting too creative. I, I was trying. Uh, yeah, it was, I, I, it I, was I, too much. It is too much in the situation. If, if he shot it. Two feet softer, he might have got away with it. Yeah. You know, but it just, you know. But the thing is, he also didn't want to leave the bank on the 14. Well, correct. So yeah. now Shane's going to, he can be a little bit greedy and try to run into that 10 ball with high inside. I think he's going after the five. I think he can. Uh, oh, the five goes, actually. You're I right. The five. Yeah. Oh. You see? <laughs> with high inside. Yeah. yeah he he hit it with low inside, which. Mm. Which is what happens. You put high inside, I think it. He may not even hit the rack with high. You never know. You know, it's, it's, it, yeah, it mm. lengthens out a little bit. But he could have come out a lot better than that. Yeah. It's hard for him to leave the cue ball down table because the eight ball plays big uh, up table. so many intricacies when you're at the table here. This you, you don't really see it. The yeah. angle's twisted a little bit. It's just yeah. really weird. One pocket's one of those games where every little tiny difference between seeing one edge of the ball to the other is so, so can be, can be yep. so big. Whereas in uh, rotation pool, it's like it's one ball you have to worry about. Yeah. He's probably going to cross this one ball with the high follow inside. He'll beat the kiss easily. He should. Get some legs. At least get in the hole, you know, in the, in the jaw. Well, considering where the 15's at, he's got one. Uh, it's got a big pocket there. And, uh, hmm. Maybe Shane spins a ball in and runs into the 15. Rel first, make the one, and the cue ball runs into the 15. And I don't see, unless he's going to play the five. And this kid's crazy. He's going to play the five. That's the benefit of playing uh, Banks before the one. You're pocket. right. Oh, you, you are still, you are so right. You get so confident in your banks. Like you see at Derby City, people it, are going for uh, banks that they normally <laughs> would. Yeah, they get the timid, timidness went away. Yeah, because they've been hitting banks for three days in a row. Oh, he, no, he's going to go bust and shooting that. 
Yeah. That's good. Good opportunity for D here to get back uh, into action. He's definitely got this ball in the one ball. Uh oh. He got away with it. He that. did away. He got away with that. The good thing here, he ended up a little straighter, which is perfect for him to get on that five ball. And if he gets on that five ball, um, nine might go. Yes, no, can't tell. Yes. Eight goes, but it, that's you start pretty narrow angles. But he's going to yeah. follow forward to, to play on the five. Oh, he hit it real bad. Now he hit that ball poorly. Yeah. He knows it. Um, three row to six. Stick him in the. Yeah, if he can stick it, he's. Uh, uh, what else can he do? Two row to 15 and draw into the two ball, 212. No, I, I like the six is just simple. Just stop it. Or you make sure you stick it into yeah. the stack so you really take away that five ball like that. But you're right. The table's playing a little slower, or they're they're not reaching it. Yeah, they're not. They didn't eat their weeds this morning. Now it's just Shane's got to um, get out the way, Shane. We're trying to figure out what you're gonna <laughs> do, man. It's not like you're playing or anything. Um, I don't like kicking. I like that better. I do like that shot. I have a lot to learn in this game, boy. You know, this is the game you always learn in that. I, the only person that, and he was still learning, but it was Efren, because his creativity was just a notch yeah. or two above everybody else. Absolutely. And his execution. But uh, he saw a lot of shots that he just didn't know what he was didn't. doing. You know, <laughs> it was just like, what the hell? Is he gonna two rail follow this cue ball into the stack? That seems like the five ball and the cue ball are gonna run the same path there if he tries that shot. feeling really frisky, you can bank the five ball into the six and mm. try and jack the cue ball. Got to be careful because you're like real the susceptible to leaving a cross bank. Yeah. Because you got he the five and the six moving. And he knows it. It's yeah. just he wants to shoot it, but he knows he should it. <laughs> yeah, right. A very good foul by Shane there. A very simple foul, and look, it puts him in a bad spot. Goes to show you the, the strength of a good uh, intentional foul. That happened in the when it was uh, with Donnie Branson and uh, and uh, Kiyanko. Kiyanko. It was an intentional foul. Turned the whole game around. Yeah. And there's three foul rule, right? Yes. Okay, good. You have to play one foul with three foul rule. Yeah, Otherwise, I mean, I'll, I'll owe twenty and you'll owe twenty-one. Yeah, you know, you just geez. tap, 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 <laughs> tap. Yeah. Uh -huh. Intentional foul. Everyone's hitting them weak. Mm -hmm. It's off the eight. Oh. Well, well, he could not put it any better with his hand. That was literally the best he could have done with that situation. I think so. Great shot there by D. He clips the six ball, so Shane's probably going to rub off the top side, the low side of the four, and try to put the cue ball back where it was earlier. But now you put the four ball in play with the with the bank opportunity. So but no matter what, you're probably going to leave him something and he can't shoot the bank so freely because of the 12 eight are in play and the 11. So yeah, Shane's first shot, I think, is the right shot there. Hit the low side of the four, follow the cue ball forward, try to stick him on the six. <laughs> you see the wheels turning. <laughs> the 
that's always a dangerous thing. Yeah. I want him to make a stupid mistake, you know. <laughs> you can outthink it. Yeah. I want to, uh, if I'm D, if I'm playing him, because, uh, It's amazing, you know, things like think long, think wrong. Your first instinct is right. I find that one to be true a lot. Yeah. You just, it just, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's just kind of just. In life and in business. It's and in just in, in everything. It's just yeah. like, you know, just. Is he really following this and using the stack to protect him? shot very pretty shot good control but again well he left the five he left the five yeah it's and he can uh, who are we to say that it's a wrong shot but I understand what <laughs> yeah I think he banks this one. yeah he banks this one he's gonna leave it dead in the jaws if you don't make it oh lord dead in the jaws if you don't make it but he left the eight. It's a little he unfortunate, up, actually. Yeah, I mean, because that ball goes in, and he's in. Uh, it changes. It changes everything. Now Shane's going to follow and probably hit the nine ball. And he's probably hoping to hit the eight ball and go through, or whatever that seven is, or something, and go through it. Hopefully, yeah. there's enough room there between then to be shooting the nine ball. Yeah, he wants to bank the four ball across table. Mm. But increased speed. Increased difficulty. So let's see. You see, he banked that four ball. But he got and a little. And shooting my nine ball. Shooting your nine ball. <laughs> so now he's probably going to draw into the five, spin off of the rail, and play position <laughs> for the six. That's creative. I would think he'd just follow a little bit and bank the six. No, he's going to try and he's going to make the nine, draw it back, try to go rail ball and carry him across and get position on the six. That way he has no more worries about that five ball causing him any more problems. See, he hit it a little weak. He hits that ball harder with yeah. him. Yeah. And off the route now, he's in business. But you have to make the nine ball. So yeah. I understand why he didn't try to do too much there. Mm -hmm. So now he's going to follow forward. He's going to run into that four ball and um, should play shape on the 11. Oh, wow. He really overcut that ball. Wow. And Shane got married on it. Got pretty safe. Yeah. You know what the funny thing is? I don't want to say it, but Shane does run good. He runs well, good because he works hard. And yeah, you earn, you know, you earn you know what luck is, you know, <laughs> what experience and uh, preparation. Absolutely. Yeah. He does run good, though, in right. general. Like, I've seen him dog a ball and just get dead away with it yeah. all the time. <laughs> Except at the Moscone Cup. Okay, no, he no, gets He gets just beat black and blue there. You know? Well, that's... <laughs> you know what? It's funny. I'll still bet on every single match for life on Shane. Yeah. And everyone can say, uh, oh, what a shot. Yeah. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Shane, Shane tapped the cue. He, 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 was, he was in shock that... Yeah. Uh, Shane doesn't really ever applaud for anybody. That was a, that was a nice <laughs> shot. That was a hell of a shot. And you didn't even see what he's doing, just boom. You know? Yeah. Big danger there to scratch. Hitting that short route, the hitting the, yeah. the short route. Make a beautiful shot though. Now Shane's got to uh He's looking at following it, but the thing is, when you follow it, it's going towards the hole, so he's going to give it a little stun. A little stun a Rooney. You see that? Oh, and he got dr dead in the drink. Mm -hmm. The thing he was trying to avoid well. hit, hit the four ball too thin. Yep. That's why it went forward. But... Doesn't look like there was that, that much damage. Not much damage. Uh, considering it's fairly late into the game. Uh, 
I wish I knew what I, I wish I had a shot in mind, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, Looks like that. That 11 ball plays big though. Play six ball. Uh oh. No good. Plus gets frozen. Good try though. Yeah. You know, didn't have uh, a lot to work with. The shredder, my buddy Danny, he uh, he cuts, he banks these balls so well. The six ball, he plays the overcut real bad, and, and it goes across so well. Really? Yeah, he banks yeah, from this from angle. From this angle, it's Aye. unbelievable. I played him a set of a uh, back pocket ten ball, <laughs> and that always shows up when the ball's like, because we're up table now and. He was just crossing that ball over <laughs> and over and over again, coming close. Yeah. Yep, that is a oh, no no. Five ball plays. Um, it looks like the 12 passes. And if the 12 passes is like a straight pull break. He want to come above the center of the table. Above the center of the table. Unless you want to play for the five. I don't think he played for that. I think he played for the 12. Just hit a little weak. So now he can make the five. I actually like this angle. He can just focus on making the ball. And he overcut it by a country mile. It's kind of refreshing to see Shane miss. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make me feel as bad. One pocket's a funny game. It, it you know, you can shoot, you can shoot these balls, make them all day long in a rotation game, and all of a sudden they don't go in quite as easy. Yeah, you can get a little numb. Yeah. And old school one pocket, you know, you give the guy safe, long, safe, long, safe, long. Then you leave him a straight in long shot. He doesn't find the hole. No. You know, no. It's just your arm goes asleep. You yeah. know. How this game's changed over the years, right? Oh, geez. It's a you got to see a lot of great players. In well, I'm not from Alaska, but I mean, <laughs> I mean you know, you know living I knew of them. Yeah, you knew of them. Yeah. I didn't, didn't uh, get out and about much back in those days, but but the game has so changed. You know, and, you know, Scott Frost probably is because he made that power one pocket so popular. And then you had guys like Keith McCready that safe is a four letter word, you know, just, he just, he just, his games lasted two minutes. Uh, you know. D fouled him purpose here, yep. and he hasn't spotted a ball. That's true. I, we don't, uh, oh. it's players, yeah. yeah it's none of my business. There's no ref, but, but yeah. He didn't spot the ball, though. Oh, D, D Tom. Yeah, they haven't even marked the pennies in the center. They didn't even mark. That's kind of. Yeah, because he just lagged it in back there. Yeah, spot it now. Yeah. The thing is that D wanted a talent, but Shane was already in the in the middle of a yeah. swing. Yeah. He don't want to shark him because then he looks like a bad guy. So damned if you do, damned yeah. if you don't. So um, it's nice of uh, 
D to acknowledge it yeah. right away. Well, if you're going to shoot a shot, uh, that four railer plays, or excuse me, the three railer plays decent here because he can follow into the two one. See? Oh, no, 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 not like that. Oh, D. Whoops. Whoops. He drew it. I would have the same shot, but with yep. the follow, you, you and follow yeah. into the stack. Because you want it to go, yeah. Just because uh, you don't want to. You know, and a lot of times that's a dangerous shot in, in, in one pocket. Half the time you leave the cross bank because it doesn't go in. You yeah. have to be so careful. Those yeah. Things. yeah. And uh, safe to say you're in deep, deep duty. Yeah, you're here. going from deep to deeper. 12 ball, he's going to draw. Probably run into the 11 here because he can't really follow this ball because he might clip the top the top side of the four. And that's what Shane's looking at. He wants to be able to hit uh, the long rail before the side pocket. Um, and if he can do that, then he can go below the side pocket, above the side pocket, and play yeah. position for that four. Or do the zigzag the way I said it, but with outside English and play on the 11, which is a beautiful shot. That was a, that was a beautiful shot. And I think the ball counts wrong. I don't think D has one anymore. Yeah, not anymore. But I'm not sure. Oh, he had one, and that yeah. was a spot, so. Yeah. So now Shane's pretty flat on this four ball. I don't think he can do too much with it, other than probably, uh, I don't know what he can do. Fram it. No, that's, oh. that's always, Sweet. That's always yeah. nice. If you have that much confidence in your stroke, then God bless you. 10-1 uh, looks decent, but I mean, you're in a sweet spot. Shane's probably playing for, let me see, 3-6, three, 3-6-8. Six, three, six, so he's playing for one. Just play the two and let the cue ball run. Yeah. You're playing for one, just hmm. roll it towards your hole. If you miss it, you leave it hanging. Three to zip. Shane's also kind of getting to that Seagull thing. He wins more than his share of the finals. Yeah. yeah. Seagull was a monster when he got to the finals, and he's, yeah. he's getting, Shane's getting to that point. And that's one thing my father told me years ago um, when I started playing. He says, you have to learn how to win. Yes. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking yeah. about? Learn how to win. You make no sense. And, yeah. you know, my father's English isn't perfect. So maybe I was thinking it was. A, yeah. But it makes perfect sense. Oh, yeah. Now yeah. that I'm yeah. Yeah. understanding what he meant. It's like, oh, you are right. Damn, Dad. You're not crazy. Oof. Oh, the same thing happened where he hit yeah. the one ball too thin. Yeah. And now he hit the f second ball full, and uh, he's in trouble. He's in big trouble. Because Shane needs one game. <laughs> you know, and he just lost the break. You know, I've seen Basically. Scott shoot this shot. He shoots the one into the rail, into the 14, back across, back across, and double tickies. And he sends a lot of movement towards his hole. Oh, oh, look at this. It had the reverse spin How much on that did ball. that reverse? That's crazy. Diamonds do that. So they, they're, they're so sensitive to speed you and gotta, spin. You got to talk to those people in charge. Who? The diamond <laughs> people. No, you know what? Uh, diamonds, they, 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 they are the best. They're speed too. sensitive. They are so speed sensitive, yeah. That thing really grabbed. Yeah. It's going to bank the eight, run into the 15. Look at this. Oh. What a great shot. He's going to play a little bit more aggressive. Try to. He needs to. He needs to. I mean, there's you're stuck in. You can't. You can't out move Shane because if you give him enough wax at the ball, he's going to stick you up. You yeah. Know? Unless you you have a lot of experience with the moving game, like mm -hmm. say uh, Tony or Boosty, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Boostamani plays a nice one pocket game. He does. A very it's unorthodox. Surprising. You know. 
the thing is he's got such impeccable touch. Yeah. Um, that's probably Busamani's biggest attribute in as a pool player is his speed control. Um, his safety game's incredible. And we've played with him so many times already. In fact, I think uh, I think they said at the one of the tournament at, at uh, Scotty Townsend, I think Alex won and Brewster came in second. So I'm assuming that's the one pocket, but I, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, really Tony got third. Yeah. Okay. Any more word on Cliff? Uh, he's at ICU. That's all yeah, I know. Somebody said that uh, he probably doesn't need surgery, but will need therapy. So too bad. Well, it could, it have, been could have been a lot worse. Yeah. You know, and who, who knows? You know. I mean, look at I, I personally think every pool player needs therapy, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> Uh, you know, the, the thing is, is, the lifestyle of a pool player, like he's a traditional, he's a he true a, road he, warrior. Yeah, yeah. You know, he probably doesn't eat the best, nope. uh, yeah. high stress, um, nope. always on the grind. I mean, this lifestyle just beats you down to a pulp. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one of the things that I've noticed and um, believe it or not, getting married has taught me um, that this lifestyle will consume you if you let it. It's nice to, you know, balance in life is always mm -hmm. a good thing. It's something that hopefully uh, all you aspiring pool players learn that, you know, this lifestyle, even though it's a lot of fun and, you know, exciting, it's it's good to have a... It's not the best life choice occupation-wise for me. No. Now, Shane can pull it off. Shane's incredibly yeah. talented. And you, you don't know if you have that talent unless you take that risk. Mm -hmm. Shane took the risk. And it well, his, his, you know what his main attribute was? He didn't. He was not afraid to lose. Yeah. Play anybody. Yeah. You know that's why when we had the tar thing going, how come you're playing Shane all the time? Because he'll play. Yeah. <laughs> it was no no nonsense. When do you want me there? Yeah. You know, yeah. Everybody else wants to maneuver and do this and do that. And he just I remember in the Philippines, uh, <sighs> we're we're playing right. This was 2007. So Shane still wasn't quite the Shane yeah. that he is now. And I remember. Uh, he played Carlo Beato, he got robbed. He played Kiamka, he got robbed. He played Jundel Malzone, he got robbed. I mean, Shane lost his butt off. Scooby was there. Mm -hmm. Scooby. And I blew my bankroll. He, Shane got went bust. And I remember making a comment to Shane. Uh, and I, he says, uh, play him. And I said, why? I said, you know, he gave me a spot last time. I said, I'm going to ask for a spot. He's like, F him. I am even. And I'm like thinking to myself, that's all fine and dandy, you know, maybe because you have more money than I do. But that was Shane's attitude. He, F him. Mm -hmm. He didn't care that this guy played very well. He wanted to go out there and, and learn and yeah. be, be the best. Yep. So, and you see that in his game, it, how he's evolved into a player where yep. Shane's Absolutely. stuck. Shane is stuck. The matches against him, and somehow he finds a way to win. Mm -hmm. You know, he knows how to win. And I think it's got a lot to do with. Uh, he has the ability to really focus. Oh, well, there's an unusual instance. He jinxed him. <laughs> he must have hurt us. Yeah. He, he tried hitting really the ball fat and turning he it. He was English. really watching the cue ball. He's trying to yeah. kind of force follow through it a little bit or something like that. But, but he, his focus is so strong. Yeah. And uh, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Pool, people, people, it, it's a very demanding game. You know, anybody can make a ball. But to do all the little cutesy things, yeah. it, no. you got to see them, first of all. Mm -hmm. Look at D. D's thinking offense, offense, offense right here. Yeah. He doesn't want to move anything with Shane. <laughs> He's like, screw this. I'm going to try and figure out some. Come across the face of the seven and bank it. That's, <laughs> that's a suicide mission. No, he's going to two rail it out. Yeah, two rail it. But even then, he's got to be careful. Well, but maybe the one eleven will stay in line, or one fourteen, or whatever it is. He's, he was looking at the six ball banking straight back. I'll tell you what, it's not that bad of a shot. Um, the reason being is that he can, he's able to control the cue ball back down on the short row where, mm -hmm. the, where the penny's at. And have a free bank on the seven if he happens to make it. And if he misses it, you're really not selling out the 14. He's going to come off the side of the seven and cue ball or dribble back. I think he's trying to do. Uh oh. No. No. No, no, no. No. Thank God. On Facebook. Oh, man. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> 
Well, Shane's probably going to play the one and follow the cue ball forward to bank the 14 towards the side and tuck the cue ball behind the seven. A one and stop. I don't see him doing anything really too. Wow. Did he really just do that? Wow. That's the I'm it's up. confidence. Uh, that's the I'm up 3-0. Yeah. You can't beat me, Stroke. <laughs> <laughs> he can't beat me. So now he's going to come off the two ball and try to bank the two. He's going to hit it hard. I have a feeling he's just going to frame it with outside English and let the cue ball drift. Play, bump the two ball perfectly for the bank. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was pretty. That was pretty. And let the 14 stop you, and you cut the seven in. Because he's frozen on the road, it's a little difficult here to put the outside English on this seven ball. You have to hit it a little bit on the fatter side mm -hmm. and try to cut it with a lot of spin. But it wants to squirt so much. Exactly. Because you're shooting down on the ball. You know, it's, exactly. it's, uh, that on the rail is a, is a tricky, tricky proposition. Yeah. That's why I, f I don't think Shane should shoot that. I mean, if anything, just play position on the bank on the 14. You know, just come up towards the center of the table with the high ball and play position on the bank on the 14 with the stop shot. So you play position on the one. And if you miss it, the one ball blocks it. That was the danger. Yep. Trying to do too much. And I understand what he was trying to do. He just hit it so fat that yeah. it looks like. But that's that on the rail. On yeah. the rail. Again, we're back to the on the rail thing. So f ball counts 4-0, and I see... Three balls, very makeable here for D. Um, with the, oh my goodness. Well, that's but what happens in one fall. Yeah, and he's been. It just, it just, that's what happens. Yeah, he hasn't been hitting the balls as yeah. much, and he's playing the best player in the world. And it's, it's hard to fire back when you're sitting down all day. Tournaments are goofy like that. That's why some people, like myself included, I'm not a very good tournament player because it takes me a while to get well, going. And you get one barrel. And I get one you barrel. Know, you, you, you're yeah. big gambling. It, it's over when you say it's over. Exactly. And I know that I can either A, flip the coin or... or go home know, and watch TV. <laughs> go home and watch TV. <laughs> no, it's a complete different men men mentality. Here's a, here's a really cool shot. Um, real first on that six ball and the cue ball will slide forward behind the 14. But that's a, a stupid shot. That's Is he I shooting the six into the, into the, oh, okay. Wow. Maybe my stupid shot wasn't so stupid. <laughs> you know, everything looks good on paper if you make the ball. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when you don't, you never, you know. So he's supposed to get a couple balls here. Yeah, four balls for sure, because everything fits. He makes a really bad mistake if he doesn't run these four balls. Oh, he makes these four balls. He's in the game. Mm -hmm. That'd be five, four. Just zip it across. Hmm. Huh. He turned it. Maybe he was a lot farther than I thought. Oh, Lord. Uh oh, is it going to give him a shot on that? No, I thought it was going to. this. <laughs> what do, what do we know about one pocket? Yeah. Speed. That's a cool shot by Shane. Going to bank it across? No. Toby would do that at times. Hmm. Toby. Oh, you're going old school now. Whatever happened to him? Is he still alive? He's, he's, does he still live here or what? Yeah, I, I think so. I think he's in the real or uh, insurance business or something. So we got out of the pool business. I mean, that had to be 15 years ago or something. I don't know. 
But he, he went on those two tables down at the Q Club, he'd have them there and he'd, he'd, he'd kick, kick bank it. But sometimes he'd kick two rails. Yeah. Uh, well, but he knew the table so well. He had marking spots. He knew, it, he knew to aim at that light switch over there. You know, yeah. that whole trick. Yes. You know. He was fun to watch. Are you teaching these kids too much, Mark? Shh. <laughs> 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 no, that's an old school trick. My dad's told me some stuff, or some of these, what's, you know, some of the moves that, you know, he got to see over right. the years. Yeah. And I'm like, where do these people come up with this <laughs> crap? I mean, if they put this much effort into, like, school, yeah, they, I mean, they'd be like oh lawyers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they'd, they'd cure yeah. cancer. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. When I was a kid, if you paid me $2 an hour or that I spent playing pool, I could retire. You know? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I ate, breathed, slept pool for years. I got in an argument with my seventh grade uh, social studies teacher and stuff. Because he kept saying you had to spell E with a capital E, or English with a capital E. I said, no, you don't. He says, yeah, you do. I says, no, what about English on a cue ball? That's a small E. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, you know, I still remember that. How stupid is that? I mean, you know, that's 1959. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Making quick work of this. Yeah. Speed right, but I don't think it's going to go any. Well, he, he had to miss the eight. You know. mm -hmm. Priority, you know. <laughs> Got to miss it. Yeah. Because it's still in play. It's dangerous. But, you know, a lot of times just getting a ball near your pocket, you're controlling what you're, the next guy's yeah, shooting. Yeah. It's all, you know, you want to control is, the table. Lee's, I mean, excuse me, the D, D is not going to be able to do really anything aggressive. Unless you do that, and you saw it the nine. Well, you don't sell it out, but for Shane, you sell it Is out. Is it pinched? No, not enough. This, from this angle, it looks like you can make it easy. From that other angle, it looked. Uh, nice pocket speed shot. Perfect. And sayonara, D. Good shooting, Shane. And there you have it. Wow. Well, folks, that's it. Uh, tomorrow at noon. All right. Thank you to yeah. everyone. No, thank you. In. And Oscar, thank you.